Hi guys, it's Nicola with your monthly reads for May 2018. If you guys would like a personal read, you can hit me up on my email, intimatewithsomtarot at gmail.com, or you can book your read on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. If you would like to buy a personal video, you can do that in my Shop Now section. If you guys would like instant access to me 24 hours a day, you can gain that through Instant Go. Type in www.instantgo.com slash intimatewisdom, or you can download it on your app store for my iPhone iOS user. Guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Okay. Hey Capricorn, it's Nicola. So we're doing something a little different. I thought it'd be good if we get outside on my porch and get some light while we do this. Okay, so this one went for Capricorn. May. Let me make sure I fix this camera so y'all can see me good. Okay. So be for May 2018. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Okay. 2018. The way I got a feeling I'm gonna need some room. <laughs> the car is just feeling heavy already. Okay, so you guys are definitely uh, at a stalemate about something. You're stuck in regards to something. Do see some things. Something changed recently with that situation. Okay, so we got the Ten of Swords as an underlying energy for you guys. This does represent you needing to embrace some changes that have happened within your life. Something has changed and you need to embrace it. You need to understand that things will get better from now on. We got the Four of Swords. So you may be at a stalemate, possibly about a woman. We got the Queen of Cups that is nurturing that, possibly a mother that you're at a stalemate about. Maybe you're trying to figure out whether you should. Okay, we got the Three of Cups here. So this is, you're probably at a stalemate about a decision between two people. The five of wands, maybe some competition in regards to the situation. So either there's competition in regards to a relationship that you're in. Maybe someone's interested in someone that you're interested in, and that's where the competition. Let me fix this because it's so bright back there, and I don't want to distract this camera from uh, my face. Oh, bring it down. There we go. So I just want you guys to see me clearly and not focus on that. Is that working? I hope that's how it works. I don't fucking know. But anyway. This nine of pentacles right now, you could be by yourself, but you're still, either you're by yourself and you're kind of um, up in the air about a relationship or a job or about two relationships or between a job and a relationship. Um, with this five of wands, like I said, that does represent bothersome details. It could be arguing back and forth with someone. You could be arguing with someone about a third party situation. Maybe you found out about a third party situation or maybe you were um, the person that was doing the third party um, thing and someone may have found out. We got the Six of Swords, so whatever the situation is, whatever happened within the situation is, whatever happened within the situation, it's time to move forward, okay? With this Six of Swords, this does talk about understanding that it's time to move forward, okay? You have, you're moving into, you're moving into higher grounds or to calmer grounds. Y'all, I'm in the hood and like, I live on Front Street. I keep seeing cars by the, um, drive by and people see me, so they waving them. <laughs> Ignore them. I'd be like, why that girl ignore me? All right, so we got Queen of Cups here as a conflict. Why is this Queen of Cups in a conflict? This could be a woman that could be interfering with something. Um, let's see, why is this Queen of Cups here? Or maybe this is the conflict. Maybe it's about a woman. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Okay, so we got the Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords. This means that there's possibly a new opportunity being presented or a new opportunity present in regards to some type of woman, but you may not be seeing them or there may be no communication on um, this person. There may be no communication. Mm -mm. There's some communication. There's an opportunity that is, that's being presented to itself, that's being presented to you that you're not noticing, Capricorn, okay? So as the crown and as the underlying injury, though, we have the five of pentacles. So this does represent maybe some money issues, someone feeling left out in the cold within a situation, and maybe you're not seeing that. Okay, so we got in the crowning energy, the eight of pentacles. This represents someone working towards something, um, building something. Why is this eight of pentacles in here? Why is this eight of pentacles in here? 
This can also be someone constantly working on a situation. So maybe that's the issue within this. Maybe that's why you're at a stalemate because whatever situation this is, whether it's a job or a relationship, it's in a constant state of having to be repaired. Why is this eight of pentacles here? Okay. You need to take back control of this situation. We got the Justice card here. So we could be talking about some type of legal issues with the Queen of Swords needing to cut away something. Um, this could be... Some of you guys, this could be working on legal issues. And it's probably why you can't separate because there's some legal issues involved in this situation. With the Justice card, we're talking about karmic situations, things being leveled out, eating out. This could be you needing to reevaluate a situation, okay? With the Queen of Swords, that's all about cutting things loose, cutting people loose. The Queen of Swords literally is about, this is like a no-nonsense woman. This is literally about cutting away things that do not serve you. Now, for some of you guys, you could be thinking about a female Libra or a female Aries, um, or you just could be thinking about a woman and trying to weigh your options and figure out how you're going to take control of this situation. With the Emperor card, this talks about setting up boundaries. This talks about structure, logic, making sure that you're doing what you need to do to handle this situation. I think it's about you taking control of this situation. Um, I don't see taking control to mend it, but literally taking to control to kind of remedy this remedy this situation if i can get those words out with the king of cups this could be you needing to open your energy open yourself up um open your energy up to receive something why is this king of cups here okay so this is about a relationship maybe you need to open your energy up to a relationship um hmm This maybe you needed to open yourself up to a relationship with this page of swords. Maybe um, there will be some type of messages or clarity. Maybe you'll find out some type of truth about something, possibly. Um, ooh. So if this is, if you're finding out some type of truth about a family, you probably find out some information about your family. And I'm talking immediate family. This could be um, relationship-wise. Whatever it is, you're going to find out some information that's going to shake you up, okay? With this Tower card, this is something coming undone. With this Ten of Cups, this may be a relationship that comes undone because of some relationship. Maybe you're needing to open your energy or either this is about being more compassionate. Maybe you need to be more compassionate and understanding. We got the World Fortune in the past energy. So we are talking about things um, kind of making some type of change. The Ace of Swords has underlying energy for that. That can... It, underlying energy for that that can be telling the truth maybe um you tell the truth or you'll heal the truth about a family situation and it will make something come undone why is this wheel of fortune here and hopefully i'm gonna go back and listen to this just in case hopefully it doesn't get too loud with the um let me just let this window down maybe this will help so you don't hear all that outside traffic okay so with the wheel of fortune we're talking about some type of change i don't know if it's positive change i do think i do think it's positive change but Something changed within your life recently, and it was a very positive change, I believe. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? We got the Six of Wands right here, so we are talking about... Y'all, I'm in the hood, so if y'all hear boom, 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 it's, it's some dude going by with his music up. I live in the hood. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so with this Wheel of Fortune, this positive change, victory is coming from this. Six of Wands came out of this, so that's victory within that change. You may be at a stalemate right now. It may not look like things are changing, but things are. We pulled the Empress in reverse. Something is about to take form, but for some reason, it is unable to right now. The Empress is all about giving birth to your dreams. It's all about starting new connections, starting new things, starting... Um, this could be a new relationship. This could be a new job. Whatever this is, it's on hold right now with the Seven of Pentacles. It's on hold because even though there's some type of change that has happened behind the scenes in your life, you are still unaware or you are not acknowledging it. For some reason, you are unable to go through with the change right now. We got the Ten of Pentacles in the future. Energy is coming in. So this does represent having all of your needs met. Like literally, the Ten of Pentacles is all of your needs met. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the future energies? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the future? Okay, come on. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the future? Okay. Okay. So, 
this ten, this ten of pentacles happened. This ten of pentacles is coming, and all of this is happening beyond the scenes. This is something that you have nothing to do with. This is spirit. This is the universe working in your favor to make something more um, fit for you, something more fit for you and the and the things that you truly desire. With this moon card, this talks about releasing the fears that hold you back. With the eight of swords, releasing the fears that hold you back again. So there's something. I think this reason why whatever this will hasn't take place or hasn't went into motion, whatever this new cycle that you're going in, the reason why it hasn't went into motion because you're afraid of letting go of what you already have. Um, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. So we're talking about a new start. You need to release the fears that hold you back because you got a new start. And this Ace of Pentacles with this Ten of, ten of Pentacles, like I want this. This is abundance coming in. This is happiness. This is a new home, a new relationship, a new anything. It's anything new that you're desiring coming in and it's coming in in abundance. With this star card, this represents happy positive happy positive optimistic long-term plans literally is what the definition or the description of this card would be but this can also be like with your hopes and dreams you're hoping that you get out of a difficult situation okay you're wishing that you got out of a difficult situation you're wishing that you can walk away and get something more fit for you you're wishing that your concerns fade away and i believe that they are fading away but you have to release the fears like you got to release that negative thought those Whatever negative thoughts you're having associated with this, release them because things will work out in your favor, Capricorn. Right now, we got the Seven of Wands. So this does represent someone that needs to choose their own destiny. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? So we're talking about a lover's card. You need to choose between lovers. All right, this can be you choosing again. This is choosing between lovers, choosing between who you want to build with, okay? So maybe there's a situation um, with the Ten of Wands, some situation that you need to... Mm. Okay, so right now you need to choose. You need to choose, and, I, and I, I don't know where this is coming from, but I got the Lover's card with the Eight of Pentacles. So you're needing to choose who you want to build your foundation with. You got the Ten of Wands and the Judgment card. So if there's a second chance, or if you're trying to give someone a second chance, this will be too much work for you. It'll be too much that you're going to have to put on your back, too much burden on your shoulders if you're trying to give someone a second chance, okay? If you're trying to work on a second chance with a Gemini, it is not going to work. And I do see a Gemini right here, and I do see you trying to work or asking for a second chance with a Gemini. It's not going to work. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse, so this is someone that's giving up. Maybe you're choosing to give up. Um, the situation with the Gemini or the Gemini chose to give up a situation with you but regardless of what's going on you need to review your motives as to why you're still pursuing the situation because with this five of swords this is literally saying that either your motives are not correct in the situation or the person that you're pursuing's motives is not correct so let's see why this five of swords here why is this five of swords here got the four of swords in reverse the two of cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. And we got the Death card in reverse. You need to let go of whatever you're holding on, Capricorn. And I know it's not my cards in reverse because right up beneath it, we got the King of Cups upright. So literally, you need the Death card in reverse. This is a strong, 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 strong indication that you are holding on to a situation that you should let go of, Capricorn. With the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse, you're not happy. The person's not happy. Neither one of you are going to be happy in this situation. You're just going to be stuck in a situation. Review your motives for staying in that situation. We got, the ten of, we got the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is about moving forward. It is slow movement. So this may be you in the future wanting to move forward or you slowly wanting to move forward. The High Priestess, you know you need to move. You know you need to walk away from whatever situation this is, okay? We got the Temperance card in reverse. So you guys need to stop waiting and, and just move on. We got the Three of Swords. Deal with whatever loss that you have to deal with, especially if this is a woman that you're, especially um, if this is a water sign woman that you're dealing with. This is, right now you need to be alone. This is you right here, Capricorn, with the Virgo card. You need to take some time to yourself. Rediscover what it is that you want, okay? Right now, whatever you're wanting, whatever you're you're pushing for, or whatever you're holding on to, this, that, that cycle is over, okay? That's it. For the outcome, we got the Ten of Cups. So this does represent some type of um, family union, okay? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Okay, so this is the Will of Fortune. Something is going to change, okay? There's some positive change happening. Why is this in the cups here? Why is this in the cups here? What kind of change are we talking about? Why is this in the cups here? 
Okay, with the Magician and the Knight of Swords, there's going to be some messages coming in with the Seven of Wands. You're going to choose either to send some messages to try to manipulate some situations. Um, some of you guys are going to really try to work this situation out. You're going to try to come back to this person. And it may, it may work. You guys may reconnect. But as far as longevity within this situation, I don't see it. I do not see it. I do not see it. <clears throat> now, you guys can try to ask for forgiveness because I do see you wanting forgiveness. You can try to ask for forgiveness. But either someone's blocking that um, or you may be blocking it. And I kind of think with that five of swords, you just need to review your motives. You may not feel the way you really truly think you feel about the situation. So let's put these up. Let's see what we got in love. What messages do we have? For Capricorn? Ooh, let's see what we got for Capricorn. What messages do we have for Capricorn? May 2018. Capricorn, May 2018. Capricorn, May 2018. Let's see what we got for playfulness now capricorn i don't know what type of situation you're in but i got a feeling whatever this is if you don't get out the cycle it's going to be a reoccurring thing for the next seven years of your life seven to eight years of your life going back and forth with this person going back and forth with this person you literally need to take control of this situation i see new love coming in for you if you allow it for a, but for a um a big majority of you you won't allow it because you're really trying to get back what you feel like you lost and honestly what you feel like you lost is a cycle that has completed that person is no longer uh, interested the way that you're interested. Put it like that. There's still a connection. For some reason, that person still um, desires a connection, but not the. I don't think it's a love connection the way you desire it. And I, honestly, I believe it has a lot to do with finances because I keep pulling it every month for you guys. So this person may be with you because either you take care of them or you lessen their loads. Okay, so we got separation here. So there is time apart from your partner. You and your partner may be separated this month. Finances and career, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you, got, you deserve love as a center of the read for you guys. That does mean that you need to understand how lovable you are and that you do deserve love in this situation. Why do you deserve love here? Let me shuffle these right quick. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So Capricorn, you have got to let this situation go. Whatever this may be, this five of cups, you're heartbroken right now. Your things are not looking up for you. But you need to understand when we get this five of cups, all this is not saying that. Let me let me see how I'm gonna put this. You may have lost something here, but you have something here. Put it like that. You feel me? You may have lost something that really means a lot to you because there's more loss up here, but you guys, you still have something that you can lean on. So maybe you need to open your eyes and see what's behind you. Change your perspective and see what love you still have standing, okay? With the death card, something has to end. A situation has to end. With getting to know each other, this is what, this is crossing it. So this may be an issue. You may be wanting to get to know a person or getting to know a person, communicating with another person, but a situation that you're in is, is ended. Why is getting to know each other in the conflict? I'm definitely seeing picking up more than one person in a situation. With more than one person, it might be a sexual thing, or it might be it may there may be some feelings involved. But I see a, a sexual situation, and I see one that's emotional. But I'm not getting a good emotion. I got the Three of Swords in reverse, so that does represent heartache and loss. With the Six of Pentacles, this is a karmic relationship that has to be paid off. You need to really review your options as to why you're dealing with either of these situations. One of these situations, there could be something. You could be this okay so we got the three of 
I don't know what's going on with you guys. We got the three of wands. And you know, y'all are in all my other reads. So I don't know what y'all got going on. But we got the three of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the eight of wands. So this is talking about you waiting for some type of in either indication, energy, something coming from a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, and maybe you're waiting for some communication from this person. With the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse, there's also a woman that may be on your mind that you're needing to heal from. With the Five of Swords, you're needing to review your options as to why, you're not, why you have not healed from this situation. You may be putting more out into this situation than what you should, but this is definitely about healing, okay? Forgiving yourself, forgiving the situation, and moving forward. All right, so in the crowning energy, we got past life relationship. You could be dealing with a past life relationship, and this could be a karmic cycle, like I said. We have the Seven of Swords as an underlying energy for getting to know each other. So that means you're not honest to someone about something. Maybe your emotions, whatever it is, you're not being honest about something. So why is past life relationship here for Capricorn? Why is past life relationship here for Capricorn? You got a new past life relationship. You know, you get, this is not a new one. This is an old past life relationship. No, okay, this might be a new one. Um, this definitely might be a new past life relationship that you're dealing with right now. I see a new opportunity. You may need to seek some assistance. This may have some type of something to do with some legal stuff. And this may be what brings about the opportunity. Oh, I look so shiny. Oh, my gosh. Um, this may be what brings about the opportunity, something legal. This could be a boss that you're dealing with that brings about this opportunity. Um, but there's some victory within this new opportunity that you're going to get. There's victory within it, okay? You do have victory within this new opportunity, Capricorn. But with this high priest is you need to trust your intuition have faith in your abilities and trust in your intuition whatever this situation with this love it will come forward it will present itself you probably already have taken notice or do know notice but for some reason you're not acting on it and this that's why i got the full part because it is telling you to take a leap of faith like to act on what you feel we got soulmate in your subconscious it says yes this is your soulmate so this is a soulmate situation let's see and i got it twice so and the fact that i got two different energies in here for your love read. It could be two different soulmates we're talking about. And I'm kind of thinking it's one karmic and one of them. So you're wanting another chance. You're wanting another chance with someone who doesn't want a chance with you. We got the Ace of Cups here. We got, you want another, you want a second chance at love with this Queen of Wands, okay? For some of you guys, you want a second chance at this Queen of Wands. This could be a woman that has detached from you, that is independent, out on her own. This could be a single woman. This could be someone that you're just associated with. This woman is very passionate, very energetic. Um, someone who has qualities of just a fierce individual, a very motivated individual. And maybe you want a second chance at love with them. If that's not the case, you want a second chance at, some, at love with someone who has walked away and you're hoping that you're not left out in the cold or you're hoping that you can still have that second chance, okay? Or maybe you're hoping that, you know, it could have an increase in your finances. I don't know. We got free yourself here in the past. So this is you taking back control of your life, okay? Why is free yourself here? magician with the page of cups and the five of cups Ooh, i mean the five of wands so that's what we got before i start talking can y'all see that ha, got all of the show so some of you guys may have been manipulated and there could have been a lot of arguments um possibly due to and i'm getting with the page of cups this is either due to someone new coming into your life into your partner's life um into I'm not quite sure what it is, but this could be someone trying to manipulate you or even manipulate you with a child because we got the page of cups here. This could be a child. So it could be somebody using a child to manipulate you or it could be you manipulating a situation um, where there's some type of competition to get kind of the upper hand in the situation. We got new love and the future energies coming in. So this talks about a new person stirring your romantic feelings. Why is new love here? Why is new love here?
and this is a future energy just coming in so this is um something new this is something you were planning on doing or something you were hoping for wishing for there's some stability but we got the devil card here so even with this new love coming in some of you guys are still attached to something else okay you're still attached to someone else and whatever this that you're attached to is causing a very big burden on your shoulders okay you need to either get out have some more fun release this third party that we're talking about so you can drop that weight off your shoulders some of you guys have been really 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 either thinking about this man trying to manifest this or some of you guys need to understand that there's more options than the one that you're um i think that's what it is you need to understand that you have more options than the connection that you have been stuck with okay so we got let go of control issues it says allow the situation to unfold naturally why do we have let go of control issues why do we have let go of control issues We got the hierophant. Okay, so once you let go of the control issues within this situation, and this is what you need to do right now. This is what your stance in this relationship. You need to let go of whatever control issues you have over this situation. Understanding that you're moving out of unsteady, unshaky waters into steadier waters. You're moving into a better place, especially mentally for a lot of you guys. You could be going with the Hierophant, with the Taurus here, with the Sun card. If you're dealing with the Taurus, I mean... That's pretty much happiness right there. Um, or maybe a Taurus makes you happy. And maybe now you're trying to choose whether or not that's the route to go or not. Or you could be having to choose between a Taurus and a Cancer or a Leo. A lot of major arcana. I think once you allow the situation in, you'll start getting these messages or these indications to show you the right path for you. But from what I'm reading from this layout right here, once you focus on taking care of you or focus on concentrating or rebuilding or relearning yourself, your, what it is you want, once you focus on what it is that you want, maybe it will become evident or clearer who you should go with, okay? So let go of the control issues, focus on what you desire, focus on what you want, what makes you happy, and it'll be clearer who you're meant to be with. Because very soon you're going to have to decide what you want. Why is very soon here? I got the night up. Very soon you're going to have to decide. And it's between two people. Okay, one of these people has good, 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 yeah, good, good stuff going on. So we got the Ten of Pentacles under here. So you're going to have to, and literally, to get to this, you're going to have to, hey, B. Okay, so to get to this happiness right here, all this that I had in the first read, and these are totally different cards, but they are literally coming in the same format that they were coming in the regular read in the general read like literally the same way because we got these two together the eight of swords and the ten of swords i mean the eight of cups and the ten of swords so once you walk away from whatever that is holding you down keeping you down and embrace whatever changes that are occurring in your life then you will receive this happiness here okay but very soon you need to carefully consider what it is that you want before acting and this has something to do with a love relationship so you're going to have to make a choice between a love relationship really quick we got unrequited love. So this is the fear that you're having. Maybe you're maybe you're afraid that the love you give won't be recipro reciprocate, reciprocated. <laughs> why is unrequited love? I mean, why is unrequited love here? You're afraid. So you're holding on to what you feel like is steady. And now you're at a standstill. But you okay. 
you are going to have to take a, a move of step forward. If you guys are holding on to this relationship because you know it's steady, because you know that this person is going to stay, or if you're holding on to something that you feel should be steady for whatever reason, you need to let go of it. We got someone who is not giving up, who is holding on, who is at a stalemate, wanting to plan a family, wanting to plan a future with someone that is not even wanting to be there with you, okay? Um, and that's your fear, but... I think your fear is directed toward the wrong situation, Capricorn. I think the person that you're thinking um, that you don't want to let go of for whatever reason is the person that isn't there with you on the same kind of, y'all not on the same page. Y'all not on the same page. We got reconciliation. So this does mean that someone from your past could be returning to your life. This could be a past life love. This can be um, someone that you're separated from. Why is reconciliation here? Within time, okay? Within time. We got the will of fortune with the temperance card so things will change you got some spiritual um things some spiritual cards popping off here okay so we got the will of fortune with the temperance card this is things changing um you need it to work to need to create um cooperate but this is like take your time things are changing for you something some new cycle is start, starting for you but you just need to have patience at the time with the page of pentacles somebody may be offering you um Either someone's offering you some type of foundation with this Page of Pentacles and this Knight of Pentacles, or this is you offering a foundation to someone else. Okay. So underlying energy, we got the World Card. So this is definitely a new cycle. This is not the same cycle that you're in. This is a new cycle. Something is going to change, and maybe you'll come to some realizations of some things, and maybe you'll decide to make that change. So let's see what messages we got. What messages do we have for Capricorn? May 2018. We got bright future. It says stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? We got guardian. It says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. I pulled true love and leap of faith as an underlying energy in here. So you possibly need to take a leap of faith to find your true love. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? We got receptivity. Some of you guys, your true love may be right in front of your I got to leave a face again. Maybe right in front of your eyes, but you're not open enough to see it. It says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. As an underlying energy, we got leap of faith. It says, take a risk. Put your heart's true desire into action. That's all I got for my Capricorn. So until next time, y'all have a good one.